Hello, my dear APT students. Today we are going to start solving this exercise on past simple and present perfect tenses. Let's see. Number one says, How long space at university? And it says, I started two years ago and I'm in my third year now, meaning I started in the past and I continue up to the present. So we use the present perfect. How long have you been at university? This is the correct form because you have been is the form we use for the affirmative statements and this is a question. So we have to say how long have you been? Now the how long were you or how long you have been? Now let's see next one. What year? What year in London? What year? So in that case, it's a question. It couldn't be this one. But then I understand it is an action that happened in the past and it doesn't happen now. I am not living in London according to this question. So I have to use the simple past to say, what year did you leave London? But no, what year have you left London? What year did you leave London? Another clue is that with simple past, I need to give a specific times. For example, I can say 1999. I wouldn't say this if I have present perfect. It is just not possible in English. Here. I, and it says, never have seen, have never seen, never saw. So, if I have a person here, I'm going to say this is the person, the person I'm talking to, I'm doing it now. And then, um, the, the use would be one of these, never have seen, have never seen. And the grammatical structure says that we have to have first the auxiliary, then the adverb, and finally the verb. This is the the secondary verb so we say i have never seen a girl like you then we do next we have it here it says we haven't seen each other we are okay we haven't seen each other and then we have a period of time we left school with a period of time or a period in the line we can use since we have we haven't seen each other since we left high school that would be the option and here have you ever and then that your students love you so have you ever felt knowing that with have i need to use the following verb in its past, past participle form so it would be have you ever felt that your students love you. Beautiful feeling. Now here. I don't see my best friend very often, but I've known her. I've known her. And then this is a period of time. It is like you do something like this and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until you get to 12. If you have periods of time, for periods of time, we use four. So. I don't see my best friend very often, but I've known her for 12 years, is the answer. Now here. If we use, uh, if we use time expressions like last week, for example, to talk about something that happened in the past, we have to use simple past. So I rented a car last week. I can't say I rent a car or I rented a car knowing that these two options would be present perfect and for present perfect we can include um, past or time expressions. For time expressions we have simple past. So I rented a car last week. Then in here I have she never been to America. So, this is a verb in its past participle form. I have to use either have or has. For she, I use has. So, the sentence says, she has never been to America. That is what the sentence entails. 
And here we have this one. It says they and then in that house since their son was born. Since means it started in the past and it goes up to the present, meaning they are still living in this house. They still live there. So we should say they have lived in that house since their son was born. Here. I have been a member of the Rotary Club since, since, and have been. So I can use a simple past. Since my last birthday. My last birthday is something that happened in the past, and I can link it to the present because I'm still a member. For a long time would be this one, but not since a long time. Since a year wouldn't also be possible because you should say for a year. So this is the answer I'm looking for. Since my last birthday. I hope this exercise were clear and I hope you continue studying hard. See you soon.